Today I'm here in Finland, surrounded by lakes, forests, and nature, so I'm going to take advantage of my surroundings and test some of the most popular 3D scanning apps at the moment. That is Polycam, Curie Engine, Reality Scan, and Luma AI. I'm going to start right here on the forest floor, surrounded by rocks, leaves, and moss, all perfect for detailed scanning. In order to make my results as clean as possible, I've hung my pine cone up with a fishing wire from a tree. Now to scanning it with four different apps. So as you can see, we've got four very different results, and I'm going to start with Kiri Engine. It's got quite a promising reconstruction of the pine cone, although it did mess up. I think this has something to do with the sun, and it's probably user error, so you might get better results when you try. Moving on to Polycam, it's probably got the best result of the bunch. It's got a very good reconstruction of the pine cone, with small artifacts here and there, but this is a very usable model and you could clean this up quite easily. Reality scan didn't work at all, it failed straight away. It wouldn't let me process it, it said that the cameras don't align up, so it gets a complete fail in this category. Luma AI did a very good job of recreating the scene, but because it's a very different technology that works differently, we can't really turn this into a mesh quite, quite as easily because it uses splatting instead of photogrammetry. So it worked well, but it will be much trickier to import into Blender or another software. So that's one point to Polycam, but now move on to our next target, the big rock. This time our results were all pretty good, but I'm going to start with Kiri Engine. It's created a fairly high quality mesh with pretty good textures, but it's definitely not the best of the bunch. Moving on to Reality Scan, it's also created a very similar result to Kiri Engine. This is a pretty good mesh with fairly low quality textures, but it would still work. Polycam, in my opinion, has the best mesh of them all and also the best textures. They're very crisp, high quality, and the most usable of them all. Luma AI has reconstructed the model really well, and definitely done more of the surroundings than any of the other apps, but the mesh itself is quite low quality, and so is the texture, because of the different technology used in this app. It's probably not the one I'd use, but still a really good result. So Polycam definitely won that category. But you might be thinking a premium app like this might come at a premium price. Well, yes, it does. It costs $149.99 per year, which is an insane amount of money. It's double what Kiri Engine costs, $74.99, which is infinitely more than what the other two cost because they're free. I was also thinking that $149.99, that comes close to buying your own GPU and running it locally. You could buy a 40 series or a 30 series card for a couple hundred pounds, and that would be about two years of the subscription for Polycam. If you've already got a GPU, then it makes even more sense. You could run it locally on your own computer. You could run Meshroom or Reality Capture, the desktop version of Reality Scan, completely for free and get the same or better results. If you found this video useful or enjoyable in any way, then please like the video and subscribe. It helps me out. I'm going to put everything I scanned on Sketchfab for free, link in the description. If you want to use some of these apps, then please put your scans on Sketchfab as well. It helps us all out and enjoy.